let's learn 50 English phrases that you will definitely use every day. Some you may know and some may be new to you. Watch this video till the end and improve your basic vocabulary. Firstly, let's learn some common questions to ask how someone is. The most popular one is, what's up? What's up, Joey? You can also use, how's it going? Or, what's new? My personal favorite is, how are you doing? How are you doing? Here is how you can reply when someone asks how you are doing. I'm good, thank you. Or, I'm good, thanks. No bad, how about you? Or a very common one, can complain. Can complain. If you're not doing well, you can say, could be better. Could be better. How's it going? Oh, I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Can't complain, really. What's up? Could be better. If you meet someone for the first time, don't forget to say glad to meet you or nice meeting you. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You can also ask about weekend plans. Any plans for the weekend? Or do you have plans this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? Here is how to suggest spending time together. Do you want to hang out? Or how about we hang out? Want to do something? Want to do something later? You can offer fun ideas for things to do. Say, let's go to the movies. How about we watch a movie? Want to see a movie? You guys want to see a movie? But where? Here is how you can express your agreement for the plan. That sounds good. Or sounds like a plan. I'm in. Sure thing. I like that idea. Let's go to the bar. I like that idea. To get to know someone better and find common ground, you can start with these questions. What's your favorite thing to do? What do you like the most? Hello? Hello? What's your favorite scary movie? By the way, what's your favorite thing to do? Let me know in the comments. And here are some ways to share your own interests. The most common one is, of course, I like. I like reading books. I like listening to music. I like this thing. And here are some of the alternatives. I enjoy or I love. I enjoy spending time with my family. I enjoy to speak English. You can also say I'm fond of or I'm keen on. I'm fond of rock music or I'm keen on dancing. As you know, I'm quite keen on comic books. You can also say, I don't mind. Like, I don't mind hanging out with you. Or, I'm okay with anything. Whatever works is fine. Whatever is fine. I don't care. That's how to end the conversation on a friendly note. You can say, see you then. Catch you later. Or, see you soon. I'll see you soon, Toretto. Let's also learn some common phrases for agreeing and disagreeing. Instead of I agree, you can say I'm with you. You're right. That's so true. Or exactly. Absolutely. 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 You're absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Blah, blah, blah. Instead of saying I disagree, you can say I don't think so. I don't think so. Or, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Did I burn down the joint? I don't think so. When someone does something nice and helpful for you, you can use these phrases. Of course, thank you, the most common one. Or, I really appreciate it. I'm so grateful. Or, thanks a lot. All right, Al, thanks a lot. And when someone thinks you, you can reply with, you're welcome. No problem. Don't mention it. My pleasure. Anytime. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Don't mention it. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks. Anytime. Now it's time to practice. 
Hey, what's up? Not bad. How about you? Can't complain. Any plans for the weekend? Ah, uh, not really. Do you want to hang out? Sure. How about we see a movie? I'm not fond of movies. How about going to a bar? Sounds like a plan. Oren, thank you for giving me this book. It's my favorite one. Don't mention it. See you then. Catch you later. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more language content.